I love this workout set. It's quite fun, buttery. this banana I'm gonna cut it up really quickly and then put it in like a yogurt bowl spend a morning with me we'll spend a day with me in Zurich I am gonna go head on for my run my daily run that I absolutely need to do and then post run I will be showering up and then heading on to work, but then I also will try to make breakfast as fast as I can. Good morning, everyone. Okay, hi, hi, good morning. It is a bright and early morning currently in Zurich right now. I'm back in Zurich. I am gonna head off to work, but before then I'm gonna try to get in a run and then shower, do my morning routine, which consists of literally running, showering, eating some breakfast, and then heading over to work and then working in the office a little bit, then I will be going off to a matcha shop, hopefully the same one. I'll have time to stop by that one or work in that one later in the day because I love it so much. But that's what I'm doing. Set on, I'm going to wear my socks. Socks are from Maritzia. This set is from Vori, and then you're gonna try to do three to four miles today. That is the goal. But it's pretty much all I have planned for today. So, yeah. A dirty mess. Socks are on, outfit is on, time to go. I love this workout set. It's quite fun, buttery, smooth, and just literally fits so well on the body which is very important for someone who is also not that tall i literally love it and it fits perfectly i'm running to the grocery store because i need to get a few goodies for breakfast Look at the selection. So far, got some berries. Now just some toast and we'll be good. Just finished my run, so I'm gonna give you guys a little haul of everything that I got at the market. I went to Co-op, which is just basically a grocery store here in Switzerland. I got some berries and some yogurt, and then I got this bread. So in total, this was probably like eight Swiss francs, which is quite a lot, but it's okay. I'm really hungry, so I'm going to chow this down as fast as I can, and then we're going to head on with the day. That is done boiling. I'm going to add in my eggs. I always do two eggs, but oh, because I have three, it's kind of awkward to have that for later. But I honestly might make ramen later and just do like one poached egg. So I think I'll just do two for now. And then I'll finish it off for dinner later. But this, my phone, I'm going to put it like to the side over here. Up some berries. I'm going to cut up my banana next. I have this banana, I'm gonna cut it up really quickly and then put it in like a yogurt bowl. And then I'm gonna put it into a yogurt bowl. Mm, it's so good. Fruit bowl that I'm just gonna consume while I'm gonna put these eggs in momentarily. I also am craving this really random snack that I can't wait to show you guys. It's literally the easiest and like weirdest thing that I have. It's not necessarily weird, but it's literally the, it's such a simple combination, but it's so good to me. And we'll have it very soon. It is 
is Monday today. Today's that everyone's here. Four liter. This is the best deodorant ever. Absolutely amazing. I don't get. Not, not to be so TMI, but I am so ingrown prone when it comes to my underarms and it took me a really long time to find like a deodorant that really fit really well for me and this deodorant I've had it for a year, like knock on wood, but I haven't had a single, a single like ingrown since so it is time to get a new bottle of her and I'll be pit stopping in France. A lot ran out so I'm just gonna use my Olaplex and then I'll use the Olaplex number six, but it's in the bathroom right now. So I just literally use it so much because my hair has been so oily. Not oily, it's been so dry recently. That's literally pretty much all that I do with my hair. I kind of just like love the air dried look right now. I wasn't using that much heat when I was back home in the States, but then I realized that this was the summer that I really didn't want to use as many heat products on it, if that makes sense. I didn't want to use as many heat products, so um, I challenged myself this summer because I was abroad to really not use any heat products, and we are on, well technically I used it once in Dublin when we were in the hotels, but we're on now, I think day 15 of no heat. So I'm trying to really help my hair as fast as I can. Okay, I really need to do my makeup so fast. When I did my get ready with me, I realized how poorly I was explaining things and I'm gonna try to be a little bit better. My face has been breaking out just a tad bit, so I don't know if it's due to the traveling or something, but I just wanna be a little bit more better with my skin, so I'm gonna try to minimize as much as I can. But I'm almost out, but I'm using, I tend to start off either with the Hangover Too Faced Primer or the Rare Beauty. I like this one when I'm going out a little bit later in the night. It holds really well. This also holds really well during the day. It's like my OG since I've used, since I was like 16. So I'm not that well at using my makeup, but it helps really well with my skin. And then for some dewy drops, because I'm a little bit tanner currently, I, um because I've, I've been tanning a lot, so I've been using the uh, these Drunk Elephants bron bronzing drops. I'm like literally on my last leg. So I usually just mix it within the, p the back of my hand. It looks kind of scary looking, but just use that. And then I apply it all over my face, but I, I try to apply little by little to see which place needs the most, obviously, and which does it. So, I'm like oxidizing that inside my face, perfect. Now, I use some, it just depends. I have, during the day, I have this amazing tar BB cream. BB cream, I swear by this, I love this so much. I have a combination skin palette, so, Day, there's some days where my skin is much more oily than it is dry and on my drier days I'll try to use the Kosas because it gives that glowing effect still but today since my face is a little bit more On the oily side, I'm gonna use this tart one and I use this Foundation brush by Sephora. I love it Literally just very minimal Gets it going. Okay, then I'm gonna take in, I still have some extra products, so I'll use that towards the end if I need it. I'll take the Charlotte Tilbury little contour puff and I'll utilize this all over my forehead and I'm almost out but I have another one and that one is like it has over excess of just a bunch so just use I use this I really need to clean this brush but it's the refi refi brush and then I use the smaller brand the smaller brush 
and I just blend this all over. Okay. Okay, looks good. Sorry, this is not the best tutorial possibly on the internet, but this is just little me when I am rushing to go off. Okay. And then just gonna get and then for some eyeshadow I'll just use my Sephora collection destinations and I'll use either this shade or this shade right over here. It's simple, it's easy, and it just gets the job done when I am running oh so late. I do have my alpha picked out, which is nice, so that's like something I really don't have to worry about. And then... I literally just have... I have everything... Oh, it's literally right in my face. I use, this is so dirty right now. I also need to clean this entire makeup bag again, but I have this Rose Ink blush. It is a cream blush. I absolutely love it. I struggled for a really long time finding a blush that blended really well with my skin tone. And this, I realized that having like an undertone of purple really helps with my cheeks and not really utilizing the pink. So I just use a crap ton of this because blush is never enough and I love the way when like blush sets on your face for a couple of hours it makes it look like really dewy and rosy. So I just do that and then I'll finish off with a bit of the Charlotte Tilbury powder if I can open it. So just get some powder. Not the right brush. It's okay. Then a tad bit of a rosy highlighter just to brighten up the cheeks. That might have been too much now that I look at it. Okay. Pretty much done. Now I'm just gonna spray. I'm just gonna let that set. I will curl my eyelashes, but that will be like the last of the last. So I might also do it on the train to work. <laughs> Thanks for watching. So this is the dress that I'm wearing today. It is, I need to get it a little bit more hem towards my body, but it is this Lavette Maxi dress. I absolutely love it. It is so comfortable. It is just so so comfortable and very it's just perfect for work basically so i'm excited but i do say i need to get it hemmed and also i cannot get the back of my zipper fully zipped so i'm gonna meet up with one of my friends and she's gonna help me zip that before we get into the workplace because that would be crazy silly if i came in to work like that but yeah so my necklace is hermes my normal stack and I'm gonna wear my watch just momentarily. And then I have this long Levette dress that I got in Singapore with, yeah. Okay, perfect, bye. I'm out at the lake, just standing. In this clip, I got to. Mm-hmm. 
This wraps up the end of the night. I am gonna go head off to bed and get ready for the new day tomorrow. But thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna edit this and then upload it as soon as I can. And yeah, okay, bye. Really not